Aloha, kids! Hi, how are ya? Welcome to video number two in this Wednesday, June 10th video. Okay, today, as you know, we had a history video, and now we have the second one, which is an English video. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because we only have a couple of videos today. You and I, we have two videos. I showed you a history video, and here I am switching off to English. Okay, so we're doing some English. Why? Well, because the first thing that we're going to do in English is spelling review. Boom, boom, boom. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now, just as a reminder, we have this video is divided into two parts, okay? First, we have spelling, and then we're going to switch it off to something else, okay? Um, before I go deeper into that, I also want to remind you something else. The reason why we have less videos with me is because we're incorporating a brand new video, which is after this, okay? The third video today is your Spanish class with Miss Kim, okay? Now, if you have any questions about that video, I put in the email a link to Ms. Kim's email. If you didn't understand something, talk directly to Ms. Kim. If you want me to help you, I can also help you out. If you contact me, Miss, I don't know how to write an email to Ms. Kim, and I'll help you and I'll tell you how, okay? All right, so what do you need today? Well, you need a piece of paper or, in essence, your notebook. Does everybody have a notebook? I'm going to get mine. My notebook is right here, so I'm going to get my notebook and a piece of pencil. A piece of pencil. A pencil um, or a mechanical pencil in the case of mine, all right? And you need a good attitude to learn the stuff that we're going to learn, okay? Now, remember, this video is intended to be a little bit of a review in spelling, so it's going to become very clear what you have to study, okay? So... What we're going to study today is yes. We're going to do um, a review of spelling. Okay, we're we're going to do a spelling log. Now, remember how we did the spelling log in the past? That we had like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we had a quiz on Friday. Well, this is in a, in essence the same thing. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is. I think I told you this the other day, but first we're going to go ahead and make a list. We're going to make our list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see the spelling log, okay? There we are. You can see everything on my screen. And the reason why we're doing the spelling log like this, okay, I'm going to even underline it in this blue. Oops, I wish I could have done it better. Here we go. All right. Fantastic. So, we're going to do the spelling log because we're going to do on the first one, the first word that we have is throw, which is in the present. And we're going to turn it into the past is through. So the first word is throw, T-H-R-O-W. And in the past, we say through. Remember, all of these words are verbs. Second verb is drink, D-R-I-N-K. And when we put it in the past, we say yesterday I drank with an A, you see it there? Can I see if I can click outside of this that you can see it nicely? There we go. So we have the first th two words, throw, which turns into through, and drink, which turns into drank. Okay? Let's go ahead and finish this. Word number three is going to be sing, which turns into sang. Very good. Word number four is dig like when you dig a hole in the ground and it changes to dug d-u-g very good now word number five is right and when we switch it 
say I root Miss Maria Katara and E. Good job. And number six is going to be swim, which changes to swam. Hey, look how cool this is looking. This is our spelling log, okay? Remember, this is the first half of our class on YouTube today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And number seven, what is number seven? Fall, F-A-L-L. -L. And when we switch it to the past, it goes to fell, F-E-L-L. -L. And number eight is buy, which when you turn into the past is bought, B-O-U-G-H-T. Very good. Word number nine is meet, meet with double E. Changes to the past, met, met. With one E. Good job. Number 10. Give. When you turn it to the past, it's gave. Today I give Miss Maria Clara a hug. And yesterday I gave her three hugs. Eh? Okay. Number 11. The word say. And when you turn it into the past, said. Said. Not said. No, 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 no. Said. Then in word number 12, we have, sorry, make. And when we switch it back, we have made. Made. Good job. And the last word is go. And when we switch it back, we write went. Okay? So we have throw, which turns to through, drink, which turns to drank. Remember, just so that you know, I'm going to write here. This is the present. Present. And on the other side, we have the past. Okay. Now we gotta remember these because the past few classes, what we did, in the past few classes, we know that for example, the word walk, it's not like this. The word walk, we just add, we just add walked with ed, or jump, jumped with ed. Do you remember that, that we did that a couple of classes ago? We've done that for our last two classes. Remember, these verbs are irregular verbs. They're not, they're, they don't follow the same rules as your normal verbs or regular verbs would, okay? These verbs, that's why they're called irregular, because they are different, okay? So, let's look at them over, okay? I also want to show you what we did in class. This is what we did in class, okay? Remember that some verbs, the past tense of irregular verbs is different, okay? That's why they're called irregular verbs, because they don't follow the same rules, okay? Now, these are the verbs that we just studied, okay? And we, have, we learned these sentences, remember? Okay? We had Simon gave a present to Sanjita. You don't have to learn these sentences per se, okay? What you do have to learn is these words, okay? You have to learn the verbs, and you have to learn how they are said. Oops, sorry. How they are written, how they are spelled. It's really important for you to learn this spelling, okay? Really, really important, all right? Okay, now, the next thing that we have today is grammar, okay? Now that you know this, we can go and look a little bit at grammar. And the first thing that we're going to see today in grammar is going to be exclamation marks, okay? For this part of the lesson, you will need, again, your notebook. But you're going to change your mindset, okay? We're going to learn something new today called exclamation marks, okay? Now, before I go and tell you what you have to do, change your mind, 
We're going to grammar. Okay, so here we go. We're going to learn about exclamation marks. And if you haven't learned about that already, let me show you. An exclamation mark. What is it? What is it do? Okay, an exclamation mark is basically a punctuation mark, like a period. Okay, but this is the symbol that represents an exclamation mark. Okay, an exclamation mark comes at the end of a sentence. Okay, it shows that the writer feels strongly about something. So let's imagine this situation where there is a big car crash. Okay, you can see this guy. And there's a person here and someone is yelling, look out. Okay, that leads us to why we use exclamation marks, okay? An exclamation mark is a, whoops, sorry. It can show excitement or surprise, okay? This is something really cool. An exclamation mark can show excitement or surprise. An exclamation mark can give warning. An exclamation mark can show that someone is hurt. An exclamation mark can show that something happened suddenly. So when you say, look out, is it excitement? Is it surprise? Is it warning? Does it indicate that someone is hurt? Does it indicate that something just happened? Well, in my opinion, look out here can mean that it's a warning because there's a danger here, okay? Now, let's go a little deeper. Here are some exclamations, okay? And, sorry, and some questions. So we're going to make a list of the exclamations. Oh, I'm moving this way too much. Hold on. Okay. So here are some exclamations and some questions. So as you can see, there are 10 of them in total. Okay. We're going to make a list of the exclamations and then a list of the questions. And we're going to add the missing punctuation mark to finish each sentence. The first one, look at this lady. Come here quickly. Is this a question or is it an exclamation mark? I think an exclamation, so we're going to add an exclamation at the end. Number two, how do they do that? Is that an exclamation or is that a question? Yep, it's a question. So I'm going to make a question mark at the end. This person here is spinning around and they're saying, I feel quite dizzy. Boom, exclamation mark. Now this superhero. Smash, bang, crash, exclamation. Now this man is looking down on his watch. What is the time? And we add a question mark to that because it's a question. Now this person is asking, where are you going? This is another question. Then this guy seems to be a fireman. Look what I found! Exclamation mark. Help! I'm stuck! Now this one has two exclamation marks. Help is one thing. I'm stuck is another. Okay? You can also say help, I'm stuck and leave it at the end. It's just easier. Now this nurse here is asking, why are you so sad? With a question mark. And this dog who's walking in the rain, he looks a little bit like Lucky. Lucky doesn't really like the rain a lot either. So he's sort of like, oh, when can we go home? He's asking this question. Oh, when can we go home? He, he wants to be out of the rain, right? Okay. So what are you going to do? You're going to copy these questions and exclamations with the appropriate exclamation mark or question mark, okay? 
Okay, so I'll leave that there for you to see so that you can pause this video while you copy. Okay, and then I'm going to continue moving forward with the next exercise that we're going to do. Move down here and say that now try these. Now we have a series of images in this situation. We have six images. And the exercise says, write what you think each person is saying. So you have to write what you think what each person is saying. Remember to finish each sentence with an exclamation mark. So, you're going to write number one. Let's see if I can do an example. Number one. What do you think this guy is doing? There's a lot of dirt. There seems to be a hole in the ground. And there, look, he seems to have found a treasure full of gold. So you could say... This man could say, I found gold. For example. And you finish it with an exclamation mark. Or he could say, I'm rich. With an exclamation mark. Okay? So you do this in your notebook. You don't have to use the same phrase that I'm using. You can create one of your own. But you have to do number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. I already helped you with number one. If you want to do a different sentence for number one, that's okay too. You can change it. It's fine. And last but not least, we're going to go and you're going to practice your punctuation. Now, this is really important. Really, really important. Why? Because all of these sentences have problems. None of them begin with a capital letter. Now that is a big problem. And I don't know if the sentences should end in a period or a full stop. I don't know if they should end in a question mark. I don't know if they should end in an exclamation mark. Now that is up to you. I'm going to erase this because I don't know. You have to do it and you have to show me tomorrow, Thursday, June 11th. In our Zoom class, remember that it starts a little bit later at 1040 until 1235. We have class Thursday, tomorrow, and after tomorrow on Friday. So what do you have to do? Well, I'm going to leave you this here so you can pause the video and copy these sentences and punctuate them correctly. Remember that all the sentences have to begin with a capital letter. Okay, and they have to end in a punctuation mark like this one. Okay, it could be that you're missing a period or a full stop or a comma or an apostrophe or a question mark or an exclamation mark or oh, quotation marks could also be something that you're missing. Okay, so you have to show me the work that you have done. Okay. All right, good job. Okay, so remember that today we only have two videos. Okay, you had a history video before this with some activities. This is the second video where we reviewed the spelling list that's going to be uh, for the quiz on Friday. And we have uh, this grammar activity that you're going to show me tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow when I ask, hey, did you guys do your grammar and Spelling. Okay, so you're going to show me your note. You say, yeah, I did, I did it here. Here it is. And you can show me all the work that you have done today. Okay, so that's it for today with me. Remember, you have another video uh, pending with Miss Kim with Spanish class. Okay, so yes, you need to do it. No, it's not optional. Then at 2.10, you have Zoom class with Miss Andrea for PE. That's right. Totally correct. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow, kids. Have a great day. Bye-bye.